Well, good morning. Welcome to today's What I Eat in a Day. It is 4.50 a.m. I'm actually headed to boot camp a couple minutes early today. Julia says we have a couple new people starting boot camp, which is always exciting. And when we first start boot camp, she does our measurements. So she was wondering if I could come a couple minutes early to help her with the measurements. Basically, she takes the measurements. I write it in her little book. So I'm going a few minutes early for that. Also, we don't know what's gonna happen with that guy that's been showing up to boot camp. I'll definitely update you guys later today on that. We'll see what happens today. We were not at the park on Saturday. We actually did a 5K at the lake in our community. We do that once a month, the last Friday of the month. So we weren't at the park. So I don't know what's transpired since last Wednesday when the police actually showed up. So I'll give you guys an entire update on the creeper at boot camp. Also, I have a Brenda coach update for you. I was shocked, shocked when I saw this comment on my channel, on my video. So I'll share an update with you guys on Brenda, my old coach that I fired as well. If you don't know what I'm talking about, check out last Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day because I shared the whole story about why I fired her last Wednesday. So I have lots of updates for you guys. Troy and I are going to clean the house today. We didn't do it yesterday because it was Easter. We actually went to my in-laws for Easter yesterday. It was really nice. We had a little Easter brunch. So we decided to wait to clean the house until today. So it is a busy day today. I've got some coaching calls as well. I have a really good dinner recipe that I'm going to be making. I'll share that with you guys. So I'm going to get my workout in. We'll see what happens today at boot camp, and I'll see you back home for breakfast. I've been on my spaceship counting stars since 94. Waiting for someone to come and knock on my door. Looking for someone who'd be the Venus to my Mars. Why does love always have to be this hard? Got me feeling like just finished my breakfast. It was so good. I love the Premier Protein Pancakes. I'm actually going to Sam's Club on Tuesday when Lola's at chemo. Her chemo and Sam's Club are about five minutes away, which is about 45 minutes away from me normally. So I try to take advantage of the hour-ish I have while she's having her IV infusion of chemo and I'm gonna go to Sam's Club. I hope that they have the Premier Protein Pancakes. I did put some real Kerrygold butter on there, one teaspoon, some sugar-free syrup, had one of my chicken apple sausage patties and some blueberries. And then you saw that I mixed up my One Up Nutrition Pure Rebuild, which is the One Up Nutrition Creatine. This is the strawberry watermelon, so good. The pineapple's really good, but the strawberry watermelon equally as delicious. I will link the One Up Nutrition down below for you. I do have a 20% discount. So I have a coaching call here in about an hour, so I thought I'd sit down quickly and give you those updates I mentioned on my way to boot camp. So our, our friend came at boot camp again today. It was about 514 and he did his lap, his really slow drive through the parking lot, pulled right past where we were working out and left. Well, as soon as we saw him, my friend Kate and I called, again, the non-emergency number for our area area and told them that we have been reporting this, that he's been coming daily now for a couple of weeks and that he came through again today. Well, about a half of an hour later, we were doing a lap in the parking lot and one of the local police officers came through and, and was and he was talking with Julia. Well, when we got back to the curb where we were doing our workout, Julia said that the car that they had pulled over last week, the random one that was parked in the lot, was actually doing Pokemon. I don't know if I buy it, but apparently Pokemon Go, they have to be 
in certain areas to find these Pokemon, I guess. I don't know. I don't play Pokemon. But apparently that's what that person was doing, which was a different person than the guy who's been coming by a few weeks now. So Julia's convinced that this guy that drives through our parking lot every day is simply playing Pokemon. I think Julia's too nice. I think she gives people too much credit and too much benefit of the doubt because I'm pretty sure he's not playing Pokemon. Now, I might be wrong, but I'm hoping that the officer will be there earlier on Wednesday because I'm guessing he's going to come back again and we can kind of get to the bottom of this. And here's the thing, if he is playing Pokemon, great, play Pokemon, but it's weird that you're in a park that's closed at 5 a.m. every single day that we're there. Now, we don't, now there's a possibility that he comes through Tuesdays and Thursdays too. We wouldn't know because we don't have boot camp on Tuesday and Thursday. I just think it's weird and it seems a little bit far-fetched for me, but like I said, I could be wrong. Julia could be right. He could be playing Pokemon Go. But yes, we did see him again today. So we will see what happens on Wednesday. Now I have a coach update for you. So today, so this morning before I went to boot camp, someone had commented on last week's What I Eat in a Day when I was talking about Brenda and how I had to fire her as my coach. So she commented and said, OMG, I'm fighting with my credit card now about Brenda. She helped me only one week then ghosted me. She's a fake and I've been trying to find others with a similar situation. So I commented back to her comment and I said, email me. So she emailed me and here's what she said. This is so interesting. I'm glad to know I'm not the only one, but I'm sad that this is happening to her and who knows how many other people. She said, so in January, I signed up with Brenda, had my call with her and decided to go month to month. So remember I told you that I had a call with her as well. And after that call felt confident in her being able to help me. Well, apparently this lovely person, Nicole had that same situation. That way, if something happened, I had the option to cancel. Smart. First week was great. She got me all signed, all aligned with my needs and my goals. Then into about one and a half weeks later, I texted her and messaged her in the app as well that we were going to be gone for a volleyball tournament all weekend. And I was wondering if she could tweak my plan to accommodate, not having a microwave handy to warm food, etc. So I followed up nothing. So I went into the app and screenshot all my messages, screenshot the text and put in a case with my Apple card. They denied me due to signing a contract. And then I called and told them absolutely not. Here's all my proof. She never responded to me yet charged me for a second month. So not only did she ghost her after a week and a half, she then charged her for another month. Then she questioned if I was disputing and I told her, yes, you never responded to me after one and a half weeks and took my money, you're a fraud. She never responded. So Brenda never responded back to her saying that to her, which I'm not at all surprised. And my case is still pending. Luckily, I'm only out $500 and not $2,000 like you. Maybe, sorry if you hear the garbage truck. The garbage truck is, the garbage is being emptied. But maybe if we can find more people, we can get her banned from coaching over the internet. She's terrible. She may have a good program, but I think she's too busy for clients. Start my week off on Monday, which means I shop Saturday and prep on Sunday. Can you believe that? So how many other people are there out there that have had this same experience with Brenda? How many other people has she frauded and stolen their money? I was flabbergasted when I saw this message and this just happens to be someone who watches my videos. And like I said, who knows how many other people are out there? Another interesting update, after my video went out last Wednesday, someone had commented and said, oh, she changed the name of her Instagram from Roots, Roofs and Quads to Brenda underscore Garcia underscore. That's her name, Brenda Garcia. So I immediately went on to Instagram and I could see that, yes, she did change her name from roofs and quads to Brenda Garcia. I wasn't blocked, but I was no longer following her. So I thought that was interesting. Well, as a couple of days pass, someone else had commented and said her Instagram's gone. She no longer has Instagram. So I went on there and at that point she had blocked me. So whether or not she has Instagram or not, I have no idea, but I will tell you that she did change her Instagram name from roofs and quads to Brenda Garcia. This wonderful Nicole person who was scammed by her as well said that she is either a dental assistant or a dental hygienist and she works and she lives in Houston, Texas. So Nicole and I have been emailing back and forth about maybe what options we have. If we can 
can get some other people that have had this similar situation with her. I mean, I don't even know how else to get the word out there other than myself and the experience that Nicole had. But if we could get together and file some type of claim against her, the issue is, and a lot of you had commented on last week's video and said, take her to small claims court, call your local business bureau. Well, she doesn't live in my same state. Like I said, she lives in Houston, Texas. I literally know nothing about her. All of these personal trainers, coaches are independent contractors. I'm an independent contractor as well. So we don't have to have a business license. So I don't know if the Better Business Bureau can do anything. Taking her to small claims court, I don't even know what that looks like. Is it worth it financially? Would I have to go to Houston? There's a lot of thing, there's a lot of unknown out there, but I find it very, very interesting that I've encountered a second person. That's on my little teeny corner of the internet. So Nicole and I are communicating via email now. I don't know what we're going to do moving forward, but I will continue to update you. There's also another person, another subscriber of mine that had messaged her on Instagram several times inquiring about coaching and she never got back to her. So my subscriber said, well, forget it. If you can't even answer my Instagram trying to get your business, what type of coach are you going to be? Thank goodness she didn't get in contact with her and start with her and get scammed as well. That is, th this whole thing is so crazy to me. I don't know how she sleeps at night knowing that she has scammed people, multiple people out of money. I wish I knew what dentist office she worked at, or I wish there was a way for me to get more information, but I'm going to continue to look into options. Like I said, Nicole and I are in communication, but I thought that was so interesting. So interesting and so crazy that I'm not the only one that she scammed out of money. What a fraud and what a terrible, horrible human being to do that to people and to willingly do that time and time again. I mean, how many people has she frauded? It's really quite scary, especially for those that are continuing to give her money and work with her. So I'm glad that whole situation is over and I'm going to see what I can do moving forward, but I am still loving the app I talked about. I'm actually going to share it with you in next Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day. Like I said, I want to get a couple more weeks using the app under my belt, but I love it. It's really been a game changer for me and I'm so excited to share it with you guys. If you're a beginner, if you're moderate, if you're a fitness, if you're really into fitness, there's something for everyone. I'm loving the app. So stay tuned for next Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day for that. And I will continue to update you both on the Creeper at Bootcamp and on Brenda the Fraud. So here is my morning snack. I made a protein coffee, a blended protein coffee. I'm not super hungry, so this will definitely tide me over until I have some lunch, but I used my normal, I made my normal protein blended Frappuccino style coffee with the Herbalife coffee mix, Clean Simple Eats Protein, and Drag Up Cold Brew. I'll link everything down below for you. This is 35 grams of protein. It tastes so good, just like a Starbucks Frappuccino loaded with protein and right around 200 calories. And then of course I gave the dog some whipped cream after. Whenever they hear my little blender, my Ninja blender, they always come running in. So they had a little bit of whipped cream. I'm going to sip on this and get ready for my coaching call. I'm just finishing up my coffee and Troy and I ordered this rolling cart off of Amazon. This thing is so cool. It's from the brand Elegear. I have a couple other products from the Elegear brand. Really, really nice quality, super affordable. And I wanted a cart that I could take grocery shopping, camping, use for the dogs, gardening, yard work. I wanted something that was fold upable. Is that a word? Foldable? Foldable cart so that it was stored so it could be stored really easy. If you didn't know, we do not have a basement in Arizona. 
So all of our storage is in our garage. So we needed something that was compact yet sturdy enough to haul just about everything. So we ordered this really cool card. So I wanted to share it with you. So this is the Elegear Foldable Collapsible cart. This collapsible foldable wagon really redefines convenience. It has 360 degree all-terrain wheels. It is super rugged, very nice quality, and you can simplify any load with the collapsible wagon. It holds up to 220 pounds with ease. I also love the hand I love the anti-drop handle. It's a flexible adjustable handle that's comfortable to hold and easy to push and pull. It goes up and down, left and right, and then has auto rebound. It's extremely easy to fold so that you can store it just about anywhere, including the back of your car. It's the smallest folded size of any other wagon out there. You can lift it and move it with one hand. It's incredibly easy to put together. As you can see, you literally take it out of the box, open it up, put the wheels on, put the pad in, and you are ready to go. The wheels are also extremely nice quality. They're shock absorbing, no noise, wear resistant, and completely stable. You can remove the wheels and then the cart can actually be used as a storage box. You can use it for camping, gardening, fishing, shopping. You could even use it to pull your dog around. The ultra compact design only weighs 16 pounds, so you can one hand carry it and again, save over 60% space compared to other collapsible wagons on the market. So I bought a blow up kayak after I kayaked last summer at the lake with Julia, my boot camp instructor and my boot camp group. This is going to be so perfect to haul my kayak, my drinks, my food, everything at the lake because we do have to park pretty far out. So I'll be able to just use my Elegear wagon to pull everything up to the beach and launch my kayak. And it's foldable so you can keep it in your car and take it grocery shopping with you. It's just a really versatile product. I'm really excited to have it. So I'll make sure that I link it down below for you. Again, you can pick it up right off of Amazon with a discount. Do you want a special bone? Yeah. Do you want a special bone? Well, come here. You think it's a special bone? We're still using the smart bones. I always have these in my Amazon store, but I'll link them for you. Here's what they look like. Yes, you, you, babas. Good boy. Here you go, baby. So for lunch today, I'm going to have a salad. I've actually been craving a green salad. So I'm going to use the Taylor Farms Classic Caesar Salad Kit. I just do one serving of this. It's 210 calories. I do use the croutons. I use the cheese. I use the dressing. And then I'm doing four ounces or one serving of the Real Good Chicken Nuggets. It's 130 calories, 24 grams of protein. This is one of my favorite lunches, dinners. I eat this multiple, multiple times a week. It's filling, it's satisfying. I get in some fat from the dressing and the cheese. I get in some veggies and lots and lots of protein. Palmer, where's your new ball? Where is it? Did you hide it? Oh, do you see it in the corner of the chair? That's his hiding spot. Palmer, where's your ball? Where is it? Where's your boo ball? Get the boo ball. He knows it's there, watch. Oh yes, it's your new ball. Oh yeah, it's nice. <gasps> <laughs> so for afternoon snack today, I'm going to have my last little packet. I'm actually really sad about it. I'm going to have to order more of the Quest cheese crackers. These are basically a Cheez-It dupe, but they have 10 grams of protein, 130 calories. They're really, really, really good. I bought these off of Nutrition. A couple of you commented and said you can find these at Target and Walmart. That's a possibility. I've never looked, to be honest with you, but I do order them off of Nutrition because I get a 10% discount and I get my fiber gourmet pasta, my some, cattle, some other snacky things I really like from Nutrition. So I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to do half of a serving of of the Blue Diamond Bold. These are the wasabi soy sauce almonds. A half of a serving is 14 grams. Don't count out your almonds, weigh them out. Weigh them out in grams because not all of the almonds are equal in size. So weighing your food out is always better than counting, especially with things like crackers, chips, almonds. So this is going to be my afternoon snack. So here's my snack. So my crackers and then I have half of a serving or 14 grams of almonds. Come on, you gonna get your ball? Ooh, get your ball. Yeah, woo, that's a good one. Good job, bud. Oh, daddy's got two balls. That really wears you out. He throws one and then the other right after. It's the best way to wear the little turd out. Lola, <gasps> what you doing? <laughs> Hi, baby, what you doing? You gonna get Palmer? 
Lola, can you get him? Lola, get your brother. What? 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 You get him. Get him, Lola. Go, Palmer. Give him the butt. <laughs> Did he hit you? Lola, where's Palmer? You gonna get him? Get him. You're so tired. Oh, yeah, he run by you like oh. a queen. Yes, I know. I know. You're tired, Daddy. Tell him. Tell Daddy. You should sit with the baby. Just a little girl. She's so pretty. It's a pretty. All right, one more time, Bubba. One more time, pumpkin. Woo, good one. For dinner tonight, I am making Irish beef stew in my Instant Pot. You can make this on the stove top. You can even throw this into your slow cooker, but let me show you what you'll need. So you're going to need some steak. The leaner the cut, the better. I'm going to add mushrooms because I have these mushrooms I need to use up. I also calls for carrots and I didn't buy any carrots. So I'm omitting the carrots, but I'm adding the mushrooms, a yellow onion, celery, parsnips, tomato paste, potatoes of your choice. I'm just using these little mini ones from Costco, salt and pepper, some type of good stout beer. I wanted Guinness, but I didn't want to buy a six pack. No one drinks beer in this house. So I just bought this single can. So that should work, but get a really good stout beer, Worcestershire sauce, thyme, bay leaves, minced garlic, and some beef broth. So I have my Instant Pot on saute, warming up. I cut up all of the steak, seasoned it with some salt and pepper. So I'm going to add it to the Instant Pot. We're going to let it brown, and then once it's browned, we're going to remove it, put it on a plate, so that we can cook down some of these veggies. I removed the steak from the Instant Pot. Now I'm adding in all of my vegetables, the onion, celery, parsnips, and mushrooms. We're going to let those cook down for just a few minutes. We want those onions to start to caramelize and everything to become a little bit more soft. Now we're adding in a big scoop of minced garlic, tomato paste, and some thyme. And we're going to stir this and just cook it on the saute mode for about 30 seconds. We just want to toast up those spices and get that garlic kind of fragrant. Then we're going to add in 12 ounces of beer and go ahead and scrape up the bottom, get all those yummy browned bits. We're going to let this mixture cook for about three to four minutes. Then we're going to add in two cups of beef broth, a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, salt and pepper, our two bay leaves, and then we're adding back in the steak. Then stir that really well. I am going to go ahead and turn off the saute function. We're going to pop the lid on, turn it on for on to high for 30 minutes. So it's been 30 minutes for the stew. This looks so good. Now I'm going to add in my potatoes. Stir those in. And then we're going to put the lid on and set it back on high for three more minutes. I just took the lid off. I'm going to add a tablespoon of cornstarch with some water, basically a slurry, just to thicken the stew up a little bit. I'm going to turn it on saute just to get some heat. Stir that up, allow it to thicken. I'll plate it up and I'll be back to share dinner. So here is my dinner. So this is one serving of the Irish beef stew. I will put points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. It's the end of the night. I'm about to get my pajamas on, throw this hair in a ponytail, take off this makeup, and Lola and I need to watch 90 Day Fiance. Comment down below if you watch 90 Day Fiance. We, it recorded last night, but I was watching something else. So we're gonna watch that and just relax for the rest of the evening. But I'm a little bit hungry for dessert tonight. I'm going to actually have two things. So I'm going to do the Dan and Light and Fit. This is the Strawberry Cheesecake Remix. So this is kind of like Chobani Flip. I actually shared the Oikos in my favorites video. I like all of the different lower fat Greek yogurt flippy type of options. This is the Strawberry Cheesecake. So it's strawberry cheesecake fat free yogurt with graham cookies, caramel, caramel pearls, and dark chocolate. So good, 12 grams of protein, 120 calories. And then I'm also going to have two of my Alyssa's little oatmeal bite cookies. I love these. I'm actually going to cream, I'm going to crumble up one of them and top my yogurt with it, then just eat the other one. These are really great. Great ingredients. They have fiber, they have protein, they're gluten-free, non-GMO, high fiber, and no sugar added. And two of the little cookies is only 90 calories. So this is just over 200 calories dessert. 
That's a lot for 200 calories. Lots of protein, lots of fiber. So that is dessert. for joining me for today's What I Eat in a Day. I hope you enjoyed seeing everything I had throughout the day today, all the updates that I was able to share, and just spending the day with me. Don't forget tonight's dinner recipe is on my recipe website. I will link that at the top of the description box along with nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite thing, the link and discount to the foldable wagon, as well as my Facebook group. Come join us. We'd love to have you. Happy Wednesday, friends, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.